Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, everybody. How we doing? My name is Takawa, and welcome back to another NASB2 video. And in today's video, we're doing something actually beneficial for your gameplay today. Today, we are going over how to use the slime mechanic. Now, if you're confused right now on what even is a slime mechanic, now as you can see at the bottom of the screen where your percentage in stocks are, there is a slime meter. Now, this is a... Now this is a new mechanic added in NASB2 where I'll be breaking down each and every little detail about the slime meter possible. If I miss anything out, please leave a comment down below to see if you guys can help me out, but I'll try my best to cover everything in this video. Without further ado, let me teach you guys how to use this new slime Now without further ado, let me teach you guys how to use a new slime mechanic. Before we get into slime though, first things first, are you guys using- are you guys using the limited edition SpongeBob SquarePants GameCube controller? Because if you guys aren't, then what are you doing? Anyways, let's get back to slime. Okay, so when you're in the settings and you put whatever settings you're comfortable with, there's going to be an option for slime. Just make sure that button is very accessible, I guess you could say. So for an example, like if I'm going to be doing a light grounded attack, I can instantly click it like that. You know what I mean? I play in the GameCube controller. I play on the GameCube controller, so my slime button is RB, but, you know, put it to whatever you guys are comfortable with. Now, to explain slime in my own words, it's basically when you attack an enemy, you click slime, it'll freeze them a hit stun so you can follow up with another attack. So, for an example... So, now that you guys seen an example, I'm pretty sure you guys... So now that you guys see an example, I'm pretty sure you guys know exactly where I'm going with this. You know, you hit the enemy, hit the slime button, and then you hit him again. There is a certain timing to do it, so if I up air and then I click it, it won't work. I have to up air, click it, and then do another attack. Okay, Plankton, you're talking too much. I might have to switch a character. Okay, you know what? Alright, Squidward, don't be interrupting me like Plankton did, or else you'll get it too. But basically, you guys can see, you hit any attack button, you hit slime, and then you hit another button. Example, up air, up air, up air, slime, charge attack. Pretty easy. You know, you'll get the use of it and the hang of it, like, once you just start playing with it in the dojo. But definitely mess with this, because you could do some crazy things like this. You know what I mean? Okay, now that you guys got the overall breakdown of slime, let's get into the specials. What I mean with that is that you can actually use slime with your special. So as we know, we have four specials. We have down special, size special, neutral special, and of course we have our special. But you can actually add slime to these moves to make it more effective. So for an example, here's my neutral special, you know, just SpongeBob bubble blowing. But now here's it with the slime. As you can see, you get three gigantic bubbles. And here it is on attack. So you can mix up some crazy stuff with this, you know, you could jump, let it fall down. So that way it's like kind of like a ladder type of thing. You know, they're forced to either jump or forced to go down. You know, you guys can get crazy with this and it's not just SpongeBob, it's of course with every other character as well. Next we got SpongeBob Psy special, you know, nothing crazy, but if you add slime to it, you go further and faster. You guys can see what you could cook up with that, you know. Could be something crazy, it can't be. Whatever, however you guys want to do that, you know. Now we got SpongeBob's down special, you know. Like I was saying, probably one of SpongeBob's best moves. They always go right in front of you. But when you add slime, they actually catch on fire. They have a debuff to them. So the fire will tick over time, like second by second, and it'll up the percentage. Now for SpongeBob's recovery, you know, it's his hydrodynamic spatula. But when you add slime, of course, you go higher. Now some of you guys probably think you're not going to use slime up special like that all the time. But this is actually a great way to recover, because like I was saying, SpongeBob's recovery is not the best. However, it can become the best once you add a little bit of slime to it. You guys can come really high, especially when you're trying to recover, you're definitely going to make the stage every time now. Now, those were the slime specials, you know, you can add slime to your specials, get your moves enhanced, stronger, faster, etc. But now, let's move into how you can use slime in a defense way. Kind of like, you know, better for yourself, I guess you could say. So if you guys did watch my how to use spongebob video, at the end of it I do cover a lot of slime stuff but you know this is the official video now. I did say how you can use slime offensively and defensively if that makes sense in the kind of way. But now let me break it down to you guys okay. So of course like I was saying one of the ways you can use, you can use slime to use your up special, get higher, make it to stage, you know. But you can also use slime with the dodge as well. This is me trying to dodge to the other platform. And here's what slime. As you can see, you're invulnerable way longer. You know, the size of the window is way bigger, so you won't get hit when you're dodging compared to this. It does look kind of cool when you wave dash with it, but again, you only get three bars max, so that's kind of useless. But, you know, it can be useful if, like, say you're running to your opponent when they're hit sun, you can kind of dodge over there. Or maybe you guys could even use it when dropping down from a platform. You can instantly just attack as well.
And maybe you can't throw in a wave dash. I don't know. You could go a little further and faster. Can't be useful. You guys are gonna cook. I'm just here to offer you guys a little tips and tricks. When you're dodging in up specialing, you can also use your up special and dodge right out. It is kind of difficult to do with SpongeBob, so I will include a clip that I added in my first video, which is from the How to Play SpongeBob video, so I'll show you guys how to do that as well. Obviously, each character has a different up special, so it is easier to those different characters, but for SpongeBob, it's kind of hard. I think as of right now, it's probably bugged, but we'll never know into the future. I'll see if I can make it clear on Twitter, so see if they can fix it or anything, but as of right now, I'll show you guys the example use my slime recovery as well as slime cancel with a jump or a dodge so for an example and another way you can use slime in a defensive way is something called slime burst now as of right now i can't do it because you know i'm just sitting here but basically when the enemy is attacking you and you're still in hit stun no matter what you do you can hold down the slime button and hit shield and you actually burst the slime burst is a great way to just get the enemy off you if you're just stuck in these combos and i'll show you guys an example there you guys go. So this works at any percentage. You could be at 999 percentage and you could get spiked. As long as you have slime burst, you'll be straight. Slime burst, however, okay, no more scrub. Slime burst, however, does cost two bars of slime. So make sure you guys have two bars of slime at all times. When I'm playing NASB2, I make sure my slime bar is like one and a half or two and a half full. That way I can use slime burst. Or for an example, I always have an extra slime backed up. But yeah, that's slime burst for you guys. And like I said, you can be at any percentage whatsoever. Even if you think you have no chance of survival and you're going to get spiked at 999%. Or even if you're at 200, just to keep it a little on the real note, you can use slime burst and you will survive definitely one of the best ways to use slime so please definitely keep that in mind and now let's move on to how to use slime offensively if that makes sense and for offensively i really don't have much to say kind of due to the fact that i already explained in the beginning but basically like i said you can hit do slime get him stuck and hit stun and then you can just follow up from there you know the combos are going to be endless from here like you can use slime however you like so for an example you could dash attack slime into down air like the the possibilities are endless bro if you really want to, which I think is going to be competitive soon, you can charge attack into slime and to grab and find your kill throw and throw them out of the stage. Slime is definitely going to be something dependent on when you're in the end game, whether that's last hit, last stock. You're going to want to use slime in the best way possible. But like I said in the beginning, you can 